and welcome to another video. So today I am doing Animal Jam DIYs. Now you may not know what a DIY is and I don't know why you wouldn't know what a DIY is because it's literally everywhere on YouTube. I mean guys, there is DIY furniture, there is DIY galaxy stuff, there is even DIY food. And some of that food is even DIY galaxy food. It's crazy. But anyway, that doesn't really explain what DIY is, so I'll just tell you right now. Now DIY stands for do it yourself. It basically means you gotta do it all yourself. You can't buy it from a store, you can't have your neighbor do it for you, you can't have your parents do it for you. You gotta do it yourself. Okay guys, yourself. You gotta do it yourself. So I thought a fun thing to do would be Animal Jam DIYs. I mean, I feel like I could take this task on. So I asked you guys on my Instagram page to leave me some suggestions as to what I could DIY in Animal Jam. And I mean, other than that one person spamming Julian2 in the comment section, you guys really delivered on this one. So thank you guys so much, and anyways, onto the Animal Jam DIYs. So the first one is a movie DIY slash like an outfit DIY. I feel like I'm saying DIY too much. DIY DIY oh DIY. That's a tongue twister. Okay, anyway, back to the point. This person wants me to recreate outfits from Zootopia and Frozen, which I think this DIY is going to be pretty easy, but you never know. So of course we got to start out with a fox because in Zootopia there's a little fox dude and he is orange, so let's begin with that. For this DIY, all you have to do is make your fox orange. It's pretty easy. And since it is a boy character, I'm putting on the boy eyes or what everyone assumes to be boy eyes in Animal Jam. After that, I'm pretty sure he just has a green tie and a green shirt, so that's going to be pretty easy. So there's the tie. And there is the shirt! I think it's pretty spot on actually. And now the second part of this DIY is the Frozen part. Now I'm pretty sure we all know what Frozen is at this point. It's basically a movie where there's two princesses or something, it's snowing a whole bunch, and they try to let it go the entire time, but they can't let it go because their parents are dead and it's snowing. Yeah, I don't really get it either. This one's gonna be a bit tougher though because the characters in the movie Frozen are actually people and not animals. Now honestly, I feel like the penguin is the most human-like animal in this game just because it's like standing on two feet. So we're we're gonna use this little dude as our Elsa. Now I have no idea what color Elsa's eyes are, so I just made them shut so I wouldn't have to deal with it. But she still got that pretty pretty eyelash, am I right? Alright, I must admit this Elsa looks beautiful so far. Literally, I just nailed it. Like, look at that. Can you get a more perfect Elsa? I don't think so. And there you go guys, the first DIY is complete. I successfully made outfits for Disney movies. Let's move on to the next one. The next person wants us to make a DIY Jurassic Park. So if you're not familiar, Jurassic Park is this movie about dinosaurs. And Animal Jam doesn't have dinosaurs, so I have no clue how I'm gonna pull this off. Well, first things first, we can switch to this den, which is much more naturey than my other one. So I have this masterpiece of a dragon. Does that count? I don't think it does. This is like the hardest DIY ever. Oh, I just got an idea, guys! I just got an idea! I have the best idea ever! All you have to do is come over here and buy one of the little plushies. What? No. Guys, they don't sell the giant plushies anymore. But I have a plan B because they still sell these things. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. See, these giraffes can just be the long necks. And these can be the dinosaurs. And this one too, I guess, because it's like that triceratops, right? Wow, I am crushing it today. I'm so good at this. Yeah, I'm eating the trees. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, I am the toughest dinosaur ever. Yeah, that's not true. I am the toughest dinosaur ever. Yeah, well, I'm the cutest dinosaur ever, and I'm very lonely. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's that's Jurassic Park. Okay, this is only the second DIY, and I've already nailed it. I am doing so good at these. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is a galaxy DIY, because you can't have a DIY video without doing something galaxy-themed. This person wants me to do a galaxy main outfit. I have no clue how I'm gonna pull this off, but I'm gonna try my best. First things first, I obviously have to change into my main outfit. There we go. When I think of galaxy, I think of purple and blue and dark blue and dark purple and all that. But if you look at my animal right now, I do not look like that at all. So time to change it up. Which looks more galaxy-like, the purple or the blue? I'm gonna go with the purple. I'm thinking the dark blue tie looks good. I'm looking super galaxyified already. Now we just gotta switch my elf bracelets to the blue ones. I am looking so galaxyified right now. Usually when you think of a galaxy, you think of dark purple and dark blue. You never really think of light blue. So I'm just gonna use a dark blue for my main color. Oh boy. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I like that or not. What about that one? That one looks much better. Then we get some purple in there. What am I missing? Oh, I know what I'm missing. It's the hat. The hat is magenta. There is no magenta in a galaxy. Oh my gosh. I know what I have to do, guys. I know what I have to do. I gotta buy a galaxy hat. 
But there's still something missing. It doesn't look galaxyified enough. There we go, guys. I know what we were missing. We were missing the stars in the galaxy. This looks so terrible. This looks like the worst galaxy DIY ever. It looks like someone threw up a galaxy on my animal and I do not like it one bit. I'm sorry I cheated on you, Sylvester. I promise no hat will ever go on my head ever again. All right, guys. I think we can all come to the conclusion that I really failed that galaxy DIY. Like, that did not look like a galaxy. That looks like someone scribbled purple and blue all over my animal. And that's not the look I was going for. But I mean, we have done two successful DIYs already, so I'm staying hopeful. This next person suggested that I make a library or make an animal as an item. Now, a library is pretty easy to make. You just get a bunch of bookshelves and shove them all together. But making an animal actually into an item is much more difficult, so I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna try to make this guy into a magenta furry hat. So first of all, we have to go completely magenta. There we go, looks pretty good. And then there is a white snowflake on the magenta furry hat, so hopefully I can find something that looks remotely similar to a snowflake. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, wait, wait. That kind of looks like a snowflake. This doesn't look like a magenta furry hat at all, but it kind of, kind of could remind you of one. If you squint hard enough, it kind of looks like one, maybe. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. This looks terrible. Do you see any resemblance? No, neither do I. This is just terrible. It was a terrible idea. All right, guys, the final DIY of tonight is a DIY that I have mastered, okay? I honestly think I am the best at this DIY. It's a DIY shrine. Now, basically, all you have to do to create a very successful shrine is first to think of a character you want to dedicate your shrine to. It could be your mother, it could be Clark Stacy, or it could even be the hackers of Animal Jam. I don't really think that there's FMAM 122 items out there, but, you know, you could try. Anyway, after you have the character in mind that you want to dedicate your shrine to, collect a ton of items. And by a ton, I mean, like, at least 100. And then just crowd them all together. Like, put them everywhere, okay? Also, you might want to make your shrine unique in some way. I made my shrine special and unique by putting Graham in a pool of lava and letting him burn. So, um, yeah, that's not violent at all. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. And if you have watched this far into the video, please put the number 26 in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.